smell the smoke a block away from Jim's pick. That gives you time to prepare for the personal service and fun experience in store. The building may be tiny, but the flavors are big, and so are the smiles. On San Pablo in Berkeley at Smoke Berkeley. Car washes really speak to barbecue because when you smell the smoke and you're out there washing your car, you can't resist it. My name is Tina Ferguson Rife. I'm the chef owner of Smoke Berkeley. Having Cordon Bleu training as well as Culinary Academy training, that's my twist. You're not going to get arrested for eating fresh vegetables with your barbecue. Except for our acne buns, and we think they do a good job, we make everything from scratch. I brought in my mom's recipe for her coleslaw as well as for her potato salad. And one of my pit masters, his mother, makes an incredible baked bean. It's called Mrs. King's Baked Beans. Quite a few of my staff are from Rubicon programs. I really understand what it's like not to be able to find a job. And a lot of people that come from Rubicon are not given a chance because of their background. They are some of the most valuable employees that I've employed since being open two years ago. I want you to go to heaven and back without dying when you eat my barbecue. I want your head to roll and you go, oh, that's so good. Mmm, that's good barbecue. All right, Jim, before we start talking Smoke Berkeley, let's just make it clear. There are a lot of places in Berkeley that have smoke in the title. <laughs> right, Tanya? Oh, yeah, we have, we have, we have learned so, that. <laughs> do not Google this place, because you will end up at Smoke House, which is a totally different restaurant. Oh smoke gosh. places in Berkeley, mm -hmm. um, but this is Smoke Berkeley. So how did you discover this spot? It's sort of tucked away, isn't it? Well, it's attached to the solar car wash that's on, <laughs> on, on, on San Pablo at Dwight, but uh, the place is run by Tina Ferguson Reif, and, uh, and the thing that I love the most is they have a special that they usually have a few days a week, which is smoked lamb. And it's, uh, I get it served on this wonderful uh, brown and red rice and with a little Dijonais aioli. I, I, I love it. Uh, they have these uh, beef links. I like the texture and the taste. And they say these are not pre-cooked. They don't get them pre-cooked, so everything is completely smoked in their smokers. And this is Texas-style barbecue. Th this oh, is yeah. this, this is, is Texas barbecue. They, well, they've got the mild, the medium, and the hot. And in fact, they have to vet you That's for the, the hot. Sauces, they right. do the sauce. They do. <laughs> I was made to take a shot of the hot you sauce when I got there. <laughs> it was a I, shot. I love spicy food, and okay. Sean, who was working at yeah. the front, is hilarious. Like I had the best time at this restaurant. It was so much fun. And when I had ordered the hot sauce he said are you sure you're prepared to handle it sure yeah I love spicy food so he said no no no, no. <laughs> and he brought me a small little cup of the hot sauce and you know I took a sip and he said now you're gonna have to shoot it shoot, shoot it, it. Baby. <laughs> and so I took a shot of the hot sauce it's gonna be very appetizing at first and it's gonna hit you in the back of the throat in about 10 seconds and it was so <laughs> hot <laughs> It was so mind. hot. Yeah, I had it, and I had already ordered, so I had to tell him a couple of times, like, can I just get the mild? Like, I can't, I can't handle the hot. It was right up there on my kind of level of being able to handle hotness, yeah. and I do like hot foods, but I was able to tolerate it. There was not <laughs> enough milk, cheese, or water to help oh, my mouth okay. after that. It's really, it's really good. We got a hot guy in the front. I played and it safe you, with the medium. You, um, I had sliders. I tried a pork slider and a beef slider. It had just enough sauce where you get the kick, you get the real Texas flavor, but not too much to overdo the tenderness and juiciness mm. of the meats and the natural flavors of the meats, which was perfect on fresh acne bread. They were fantastic. I tried jalapeno mac and cheese. It had a nice kick of jalapeno to it. It was tasty. It was mm -hmm. warm. It was gooey. Big noodles. Probably wasn't maybe the best mac and cheese I had, but it was a good side and I would probably get it again. I that I, crust, that cheese crust on the top. Which I is didn't what you, get it on mine. Maybe oh, that's why. Maybe that's man, why. It oh, was okay. so good. <laughs> it was so good. We had so much fun. I cannot reiterate how great the people are who work there yes. and they were so excited that we were first timers. A smoke had, Berkeley Virgin. It was Smoke mm -hmm. Berkeley Virgin. Uh, <laughs> thank goodness. Like I found my, I found it. Um, 
I had the pulled pork and the brisket. We also had potato salad. The baked beans yes. were amazing. Right, the little bit of brisket <sighs> inside of it took me by surprise. Some of the best baked beans I've ever had yeah. in my life. They were like okay. smoky, they were sweet, they were a little spicy. They had generous just portions of the salt. brisket. It was great. Mm -hmm. Cheesy Together. rice, did you the try cheesy the cheesy rice? rice? Oh. It was just a mixture of warm, soft rice. Not too much cheese, but just enough cheese to give it that smooth, creamy flavor. The brisket was delicious, absolutely delicious. It was a little tough, just a little. So Sean came out to check on us and we didn't say a word and he saw my brisket and he said, I am so sorry, that is not my mama's brisket. I don't feel good that you're eating this. We just got a new vendor, kind of went to a backstory, went and came out with the tea smoked salmon. That hands down is the best thing that I ate. And it, it was so flaky and so moist. It was smoked perfectly and it came with this ginger cilantro sauce that needs to be bottled and sold and put on everything. We took some of that home one time. I had it on scrambled eggs. Oh, look at you both. I've, I've done the, this. The excitement is palatable here at the table. Yeah. I feel like I'm in barbecue church. Okay, so let's get to dessert now. Now you this can get to This chocolate dessert. pecan pie was just in, insanely good. It was just like a rich chocolate fudge inside of a mm. sweet crust. Rich, milky chocolate melts in your mouth. I was just in heaven. I want to go back and buy a full pie. Jim, what are you what? doing? I well, I just you. happen to have some of their fresh baked cookies with me, <laughs> and which is actually something I've tried a bunch of their desserts and love them, but I haven't had these. Awesome! Oh, this so is their cookies. These are their they do say cookies. Get out! Yeah. Oh my God! Okay. So you can imagine what, what it's is like this when one? they're warm. This chocolate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're, yeah. Mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's thank heaven. you. Mm. Mm. And it's really affordable. I oh mean, yeah. It's un. Real, how much food you get for what you pay. I mean, it was super affordable and super generous as far as the portions. I think they're ready to kiss you, Jim, as a thank you oh. for finding this place. I'm <laughs> going to make out with you in five minutes. <laughs> I better call my wife. <laughs> but not before you describe the sweet potato pie to me, because I love sweet potato pie. It's uncomplicated. The crust is that magic crust that's just soft and tender, and the sweet potato is so creamy. It's just basic and so satisfying. Well, this is your spot, so give us a quick summary. I think you can find wonderful food there, um, unusual uh, items you don't find in any other barbecue place, and the food tastes great. And Tanya? Perfect taste of Texas-style barbecue right in the Bay Area. All right, and Matt? Such a wonderful little gem in the middle of Berkeley. So happy I found it. All right, if you would like to try Smoke Berkeley, it's on San Pablo at Channing in Berkeley. The telephone number is 510-548-8801. It's open for lunch and dinner, Tuesday through Saturday. And the average tab for dinner without drinks is around $20.